Hey, hi, thank you so much for watching the Chai or Coffee Show. I am Ved and we are here with the first video for this series called Lead Her, which is in collaboration with Invicta Learning. The first story of inspiration that we are going to talk on Lead Her is of Deepti Chandi. Deepti is an image consultant. She is the COO of Anna Chandi Associates and she is also a fashion enthusiast. At a very young age, unfortunately, Deepti was diagnosed with a skin problem and from then her life changed. Come, let's see what Deepti's story is. I'm a strong believer that any difficult situation uh, only teaches you and makes you learn some of the hardest lessons that otherwise you wouldn't learn. So for me, I made my best friend when I fell ill. I learned the best things about myself when I fell ill. And I think one of the biggest things is you learn empathy. So if you or someone is in a problem, you can really understand what they're feeling because even you've been in shit yourself. So you know how the other person feels. You're not just telling them something from one step above. You're telling them as a fellow human being. So yes, if this incident had to happen to me again, I would still choose them. Deepti, in her understanding of a situation, shows an insight into her own emotions and how she accepts them. The empathy lies in being true to self and embracing who she is and recognizing her safe space and her close friends. A, I share things that are um, not perfect. Like I went for a, to learn how to ice a rose, but my rose ended up looking like a pineapple. I still posted it because I think that's important to show that I didn't want to, if I um, got a perfect rose, I may not have posted it because life is not about perfection. It's okay if your rose looks like a pineapple. And a lot of people said, bro, your rose does not look like a rose, it looks like a pineapple. But I was like, it's fine because I feel that it's important to post imperfections as much as you can because I think people are always trying to post this perfect life. Deepti exhibits confidence in herself and shows how self-esteem is layered like a rose. She reveals her inner strength while accepting her imperfections. She shows how a strong mind can change the perception of a person. I think um, I was, I have shared the story before but I, it really impacted me. I was in New York a couple of months ago and um, I really, uh, so I, we were going out for dinner, we were going to this place near the Empire State Building, a fancy nightclub kind of place and uh, we were in the elevator and this couple kept looking at me. So my friend Krishna, she got very agitated and you know, she was like, they're staring and this that. and I'm pretty used to it now because I'm like, okay, you know, it's part of life. But um, it got more and more uncomfortable and it was very obvious they were talking about me. And uh, as soon as we got off, uh, they were like, can we talk to you? And she said, what, what, what's it? So I said, no, chill, like, let me just have a word with them. So I said, what, what's up? So they said, you know, um, our daughter has a very, very severe skin problem. And apparently, uh, like, even if she's sitting, her skin is shedding. And she doesn't go out. She doesn't have any friends. And when we saw you, we were so happy to see that you were that you're going out and we just wanted to share this with her. So we just wanted to say thank you for showing us that, you know, you can go out and you can enjoy yourself. And that taught me two things. One is that, see, the first, our first reaction is to be defensive. We, we first think that people are talking something bad about us. We don't know what the real thing is. So, and it happens to all of us. Even my first reaction is they're talking something bad about me. But when you actually, um, and I actually got to know my heart. Like I was just so moved. And I thought, my God, that little girl, like I think she's 40, you know, 13 or 40. And I felt so bad because she has no friends. She wasn't going on. And I said, okay, in the smallest way, if I could have impacted her, that really made my day. And I think that was a lesson for both Krishna and I that, you know, people do have a different perspective. And not everyone is talking bad about me. The innate ability to be in someone's shoes and recognize their fears and apprehensions is what Deepti does emphatically in this incident. She inspires the parents with her confidence and compassion. She leaves them with hope for their little girl and her big dreams, presenting herself as an example to follow.
I think it's don't stop being yourself. Uh, and I think we all think that what makes us different is a problem. But I learned that what makes you different is actually what makes you special. So don't forget to be yourself. Being special is all about acceptance, resilience and embracing what is different. It is important to take up the unknown road and remember that the past experiences are not about just struggles but a testimony of strength and being true to oneself. So this was all from the story of Deepthi Chandi for the series called Lead Her. Do let us know what you felt about the video in the comment section below. See you soon with many more videos and until then take care.